I'm Stephanie Leithhead from Aurora Wellness Group and welcome to day 28 of our 28 day challenge. Uh, this is our last day of our very first 28 day challenge for Mental Health February um, and I'm very excited to be here with you at the end um, and today's uh, topic is about celebrating yourself. So uh, you've learned a lot so far throughout this challenge. And um, I just want you to take a second to really celebrate your willingness to try new things, your uh, stamina to stick through it, um, your determination. Um, and it doesn't matter how many you did or didn't do, uh, you showed up. And I really, really appreciate that. And um, I really want you to take the time to recognize what that means for you and the impact that you are having on your own mental health by just showing up. Um, so take, allow yourself to, to be proud of this accomplishment, right? Of, of whatever you put into this, whatever you got out of it. Um, it's really important that we celebrate things. I think we spend a lot of our lives being hard on ourselves for not doing things the way we wanted them or the, we hold ourselves to standards that are, are so high that we'll never achieve them. Um, but this is, a, this is a time where it's okay to celebrate. Um, so it can actually take practice to allow ourselves to celebrate. Um, so that is your practice today is to honor ourselves. Now this can reduce our negativity bias, which we talked about earlier in the month. Um, it can increase our confidence, which is very important. Um, and it also lets us see ourselves in a different way. Um, we're embracing the positives and we get to see what other people see, right? Um, it can also allow us to create shared meaning with our community, um, to strengthen our connections um, and to really increase our support network as well. So we all have different ways of celebrating and we're not gonna tell you how to celebrate. I know that would be easier, <laughs> but this really varies from person to person. So, and this depends on your personality, on your circumstances, on your uh, social support system, uh, on lots of different things, on your comfort level, on your mood, whatever. So, um, some ideas on how to celebrate you. You can jump up and down, yell, scream. Um, you could dance, you know, celebrate using your whole body if you're a very physical person. Um, if you are a more literary person, take some time to journal. Um, you maybe use a gratitude prompt or um, listen to some music that you really, that makes you feel good about yourself. You can also treat yourself. So something, something special, something out of the ordinary, something that maybe takes a little bit of effort, um, maybe a night out, maybe a favorite, um, it could be a food treat or a self-care treat, like a, a bath or, um, you know, treat yourself to a, a night off from, from doing things, if that was a thing. Um, whatever it is that allows you to take some time to really appreciate yourself. <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so <laughs> your daily activity today is um to practice celebrating right and to celebrate our accomplice accomplishments um and so for some people this is really easy and this can be a very cultural piece as well um so however this fits within your own belief system within your culture within your family within yourself uh there's no wrong way to do this um, so your first step is to think of a recent accomplishment and it can be the 28 day challenge. It can be something else in your life as well. Um, but I want you to plan a time, a location and a way to celebrate. So again, you need a time, a location and a method. So find something to celebrate and how you are going to celebrate it. And then invite others to join you if you can. Um, you know, I know this is weird times in terms of having our social network physically present, but maybe enjoy invite people over Zoom um, within your bubble, however you're working this, um, or even just writing a note, letting people know that you are celebrating, invites people in without them having to be physically there as well. So your final daily meditation this month 
is called What the World Needs. This is one of my favorites, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, also, I am going to be leaving up all the daily meditations um, on our YouTube page. So anytime you want to go back and revisit them, uh, please do so. There will also be all these videos uh, available to you whenever you want as well. And as always, feel free to journal or draw about your experiences today, about um, your experiences throughout the challenge. Uh, don't forget to write down something you're grateful for. This is your last time to do it. And if you're comfortable, consider sharing something with us. Uh, I do have one extra request today, and that is that you give us some feedback. So I have um, attached a link um, to a survey to just give us some feedback. How did it go for you? Um, this is our first time doing this challenge, so we really appreciate hearing how it went, where we can improve. Um, I would also love to know a little bit about what more do you want? Um, you know, is, would, what kind of content are you interested in? Um, yeah, we, uh, we're really excited to hear more about that. I also just want to give, let you know really quick that we're going to be doing a introduction to counseling um, in a couple weeks on March 9th. Check my calendar on that one. Um, and, uh, and where you can come and, and, you know, meet the counselors and find out a bit more about what we do in our uh, mental health clinic as well. Um, and any groups are running and things like that. So I'm going to be uh, look for our Facebook ad and uh, I'll have that posted on our social media as well. And we would love to see you there. So that is it. Congratulations on finishing not only day 28, but mental health February and our 28 day mental health challenge. I am uh, feel so honored that I got to take this journey with you and I hope to see and hear more of you in the future. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.